Welcome to Stormwater Drainage Solutions. Here's a quick video for the DIYer on how to repair a damaged downspout drain riser. Now, as you can see here, this downspout drain riser has been taped over and there's also this shield that has been put in front of it a little bit too late though. So what has happened here is the weed whip has hit this over and over and over again from the yard guys and it has damaged the pipe, it has split the pipe. Now this is old agriculture corrugated pipe. This system is roughly 16 years old and is still functioning fine. There's nothing wrong with this system. The only issue is right here where it enters in the ground as you can see. So I'm gonna be showing you how to make a quick and easy repair if this has happened to your downspout drain riser. Let's go ahead and get started. So the very first thing we're going to do is we're going to take that tape off and we're going to make a clean cut with our razor through both sides of this pipe. You want to make sure that you get a clean cut on that pipe because we're going to be using a cup link to fit both of these pipes back together. That is the proper way to make a repair on corrugated pipe. You want to use an external cup link. Do not use a piece of corrugated pipe and smush it in half and put it inside the two pipes. That is not the way you want to do it. You want to make a clean cut and use a corrugated to corrugated cup link. Once you have both of your pipes clean cut, go ahead and snap on your external bell cup link. You're going to want to push it all the way down until you hear it click a couple of times. This means that it is nice and seated in the bell end. Go ahead and make that connection on both sides of the pipe. Next, you're going to be using a corrugated tile tape to wrap the entire bell cup link from seam to seam. You want to make sure that you do not skimp on this part. Tile tape is very important. It is used to keep water in, and if it's an underground system, it helps keep roots out. In this case, we want to keep the water in because we don't want it leaking out since this connection is going to be above the ground. All right, guys, so this repair is now complete. I know it was a short video, but I hope you gained some knowledge from watching it. And if you live in the Tampa Bay area, give us a call if you're experiencing rainwater issues in your yard. We can come out there and assess the situation and help design a system that fits your needs. And until next time, this is SWDS signing off.